Hi, this is a fat old lady in PJs. Today I'm going to talk to you about aneroid barometers. I have one here. They run between $40 and $60 in the hardware stores. I picked mine up for a dollar at a yard sale, and I think that was a good buy. On the top there, you're going to have the humidity. It's going to show that. On the bottom, you're going to have the temperature. They're both pretty much useless um, because I'm indoors, so it doesn't give you an adequate picture. But what I especially want to show you is in the middle here, and this is the barometer. It's an aneroid barometer. If you're not familiar with that term, it's a mechanical uh, mechanical barometer. See, it's got the, uh, the different uh, ones, 28, 29, 30, 31. In between, you're going to have tenths. So it'll be 28.10, 28.20, etc. They've got rain and uh, fair on each side of it. Ignore that because it's not accurate. I don't know how it ever got on there, but um, it, it just doesn't have an adequate picture. And if you see here, my present uh, reading is 30.24. The uh, reading previously was 30.6, so it's rising. What you have here, it's a little gizmo. You turn it, and that's just going to mark your place. So you can kind of tell at a glance if your barometer is rising or falling. The easiest way, it's kind of a simple way, is uh, if, you're, you're, if it's rising, then um, it's going to be fair weather. If your barometer is falling, you then uh, chances are a storm is coming. It doesn't always work that way. There are variations, but if you're an amateur and you're not familiar with the way a barometer works, that's a good, a good way to start out is just look at, at which direction the needle is, is going. And another thing I want to show you is in the back of it. I'm just going to turn it around here. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little screw in the back. And that's to adjust it. You're going to need to adjust your barometer because if you're in a place like, say, New Orleans, you're close to sea level, so that you're, yours it, reading is going to be different than if you're in Colorado in the mountains is area, so you're going to have to adjust it. You can use a jeweler's screwdriver or maybe a tiny screwdriver like from a sewing machine. Some of these, what you would do is just turn the, uh, check the reading with your local TV station and then just adjust it until your uh, needle on the front is at the correct uh, reading, barometer reading. Sometimes you're going to have uh, ones that will adjust according to your elevation. And if you have one like that, what you'll do is you're going to check and see exactly what your elevation is. There's a website called veloroots.org. And you can check on that. Uh, just put it in your street address, and it will give you an exact elevation. And then you can adjust your screw accordingly. You're going to need to adjust this because if you don't, your readings are going to be way off, and then you're going to get frustrated. If you have an electronic station, and for some reasons your battery should go out, or if it's um, hooked up to the power and your power goes out, these aneroid barometers are a really nice backup for you. And also, if you're on a budget, you can pick these up, like I said, a dollar, two dollars. Sometimes you'll get a dud, and sometimes, you know, you're going to find yourself uh, with a really good buy on it. This one is a Springfield. It's like one of the top in the weather instrument industry. And uh, there are other various uh, ones, too, that are out there. But just to show you, this is an aneroid barometer. And it's another alternative to an electronic weather station. See you later. Fat old lady in PJ's out.